Hi everyone and welcome back to another one of my exact software functionality videos. Uh, today I'm going to lead on from what I did last week which is the dashboards. It was uh, quite a good overview as to what to expect from that. Uh, today I'm going to get more into the sales order process. So uh, for this demonstration I will be doing uh, how a quotation is generated and leads on and goes through all the way to generating a sales order with that exact information. And also show you how that's stored within the CRM. Uh, so you always have the information that was actually quoted at hand. So there was no miscommunication and the sales order is, is perfectly reflective of what you quoted in the first place. So without further ado, I will log in. and we are in my environment. Now, for those of you who saw the video before, I stored my uh, homepage as a sales dashboard. Now, this is great for people who are generating business for the company. And as you can see on the right-hand side, a nice overview again of what's to be delivered to be invoiced, as well as other features. But in the bottom left, um, we have opportunities. So as a sales guy, I would have heard uh, in the past that a company, for the purposes of today, it's going to be a sports company who are looking for some treadmills. And I created an opportunity within the CRM, uh, my overdue opportunities. So I actually created a next task and that will be prompted here because I entered a date in which that was going to happen. So if I drill in here, that will take me through to my overview of opportunities of, of which you can see at the top. Here is a sports equipment company, which need two new treadmills. So my action date was actually last Friday. This is prop it's popped up in my list, which has prompted me to call and send a quote for new business. You can even timestamp within the next action fields and actually shows you the amount as well you expect it to close and the date in which you perceive that to close at. So this information can also be seen in the My Opportunities dashboard if you want to get a, a good idea of what your sales forecast is to be. So we'll come back to this page. I'm just going to quickly show you top left My Opportunities dashboard in which you will see in the identification stage and you can change these and have as more than uh, there is here at the moment but again my opportunities here overdue is there so you can get to that from this stage but also you've got sales forecast and within this if we drill into this side this uh this column you'll see within that i'm looking to close this business in this month um so for that amount close date of eight third so March is looking let's go back to my original is looking like so and I've closed 20,000 already so I'm gonna go back to the page uh, from my overdue opportunities so this is my home page as a salesman sales dashboard all the information I'm gonna go to my overdue opportunities I will then drill into my opportunity description because it's prompted me to do something today and here you'll see this is what we call an opportunity card card is a word we use for specific information so that can be for items it can be for uh, suppliers uh, anything that has this overview we call a card so this is an opportunity card now you can see the amounts a nice summary next action action date close date and the amounts also the progression it has gone through from start to finish 100% obviously being when it's one. And on this page, you can see no documents have been generated, no quotations have been done. So I've pretend I've just been on the phone and they want a quotation sent through for what I've discussed. Uh, you can create an activity here by adding a communication note, task or event. But for purposes of today, we're gonna go straight and generate a quotation. So I've clicked on quotation. This brings up all the information for that company, so the delivery address, the invoice address, also who's ordered by, and you can have a number of different addresses per customer and a number of different invoice addresses as well. Here you can also enter the information, so the description, you can add a reference, add a different payment condition, uh, but today we're just going to sell them a couple of treadmills. So here we go, this is the overview of my items. If I go back there again, you can search by name, serial number or by batch so if I go and select again treadmill 
that brings up all the information about that item. So £750 per item. Here you actually have the sales margin. So if I were to change this price, say they wanted a better deal, you could enter 700, 7,000, I wish. And you can see the margin is changed in real time. So this is great for your sales guys. And for those of your business owners, knowing that your sales guys will know that they're not chewing into too much of your profits. So if I go, bring it back to the original 750, I'm going to print a final version. You can print a trial or you can email this directly to the customer. That's probably the easiest way to go about things uh, and fastest to shorten your, your sales cycle. But if we print the purpose of this, uh, no, I don't believe so. Here we have an overview of what the quotation will, well, information. You can have a number of different layouts. And in another demonstration, I will show you how you can have multiple variations of quotations. And for specific customers or accounts, you can have specified quotation layouts for them. So that when you send the information across, it will include or exclude as much or as little information that you want. Um, other information here, print final, output printer, you select the quotation number. We're going to, well, why not? I'll email it to myself and hopefully we can have a look at that. So this is how it will look. Your logo will appear at the top and you can manipulate this layout as and how you wish. This is the information that will be included. Now I'm going to just put in my email address. I might receive two because I'm the user and I'm going to have my here and I'll have copy sent to myself so I'll have a good track of what was sent and when and I'll also show you that how that works in the, uh, the CRM so everything we've been doing so far emails etc you'll see shortly uh, I'm going to enter extra text here as well but if we send hopefully what will pop up is an email so select a quotation has been sent now when that pops up, I'll open it and we'll have a look. I can hear that's come through on my phone already. Uh, and we're going to go through to our quotations. We're going to process a quotation that has been sent. So here you go. We have it there. Or if I want to go back to my opportunities and keep a track of what I've done with which account, some overdue opportunities. Here's the description. Within this now, you'll see that one document has been generated. That is a PDF record of what was sent to the customer. What you'll also see is the date it was created and the type of what it was. It was a sales quotation. Here's the quotation itself, so you can link directly to that. We're going to go to that quotation. And on the screen now, you have the option of accepting, reviewing or rejecting that quotation. You can see all the information has been retained from the original. If we accept this, I'm going to do this for the purposes of today, um, and we will be able to uh, do a few functions from there. But review, you can then make another version of this quotation and then resend it for them to hopefully accept with a reduced price potentially. So if we accept this quotation. You have three options at the bottom. You can have no action from accepting this. You can generate a sales order straight away or a sales invoice. This is great because you don't have any manual or human error in entering a sales order and the limit of error, yeah, let's do price, I guess. I'm be good at price. So we're gonna accept this and generate a sales order. If I accept this, all the information that I entered before is populated here. You can see the sales order, we've generated number 42. If I click on this and all blue fields are drillable on the pages, the sales order, I can go straight to now has all the information on it. And this is where our, our journey ends in this de demonstration. Here again, you can see the margin of what you, you, you've quoted, what you've got in stock, and I'll show you in the stock inventory demonstrations that I'll be doing down the line, um, what's projected stock, what is to be delivered,
was to be invoiced, what has been delivered and what is to be invoiced. And the order status is open. But from here, and I'll show you in another demonstration, we'll be able to directly deliver from here, which will affect the stock levels in real time. Uh, and then once that's done, we can invoice as well. Uh, if we don't have enough stock, we can do a direct, we can do a purchase order advice from here and that will then get the stock in and you'll be able to deliver at a certain time. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, hang on, I've forgotten one thing. I want to show you all of the information. So that was our sports customer. If we drill into that, you'll see this is their account as well. So in the process of today, I've generated two quotations. This is the most recent one. You see here, our logo, our quotation. We also have the number of opportunities that I've created. So here you can see if you've got multiple opportunities with one business, they're quite large. You do a lot of work with them. Um, you can keep a track of everything that's going on with them. Um, you can see the opportunity stage has been changed to one because they accepted the quotation, which we can drill into straight from here and the amount. Here you can go straight to the quotation. All the quotations that we have generated are populated here. You can even see information. This is what they would have received. I think I need to turn off my outlook. That is why I didn't get a prompt earlier. So bear with me. Here we go. This is what I would have received with that email. So if you find it interesting. Uh, I'm going to go straight back to my environment, close this. Hopefully you see the benefits of what has happened. Everything you've done within the system has been recorded and stored. And yeah, you can keep a very good track of everything that goes on in your business on a sales perspective. I will do my next demonstration on the delivery and invoice side um, and show you just how easy that is. Uh, but if you have any suggestions, any comments, please leave them. Please subscribe and like my videos and I'll be back to, to show you another video in the very near future. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.